Hi Taurus, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, this bonus reading, my intentions is if some things in your monthlies did not resonate for you, maybe something here will. So please only take the messages that resonate for you and leave the rest. Not every little thing may resonate. Please do keep that in mind. If it's not fitting for you, not your story, please don't take it to heart. It's not your message or messages at this time. Um, it could be past, present, or future. Um, so we'll see what comes here. We will take a little look into love, life, and then advice and guidance for you um, from the Guardian Angel Oracle. So this is a cute little deck. Not too many people use it. So get some uh, advice, guidance for you from the Archangels, Guardian Angels, clarifying with Tarot. So we're just going to jump into it here. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box. Feel free to check that out. Tons of stuff down there, too, also. And if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see. You like my vibe, how I read. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And welcome to the family. All right. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or male or female, general collective. Let's dive into a little bit of love at this time and the messages most needed for you. Let's take a little look into love. I'm going to get a couple oracles from each deck, and then we'll get into the tarot. So I'll be doing that first. Taurus. What are the messages for Taurus at this time? And love. Take that one, and I'm going to take one from the bottom. Bottom messages are always important. That's a love. This is a new deck for me. That is the uh, Power of Love by James Van Prague. Link below if you'd like to check it out. All right. Let's look into life. What's going on in the life of Taurus for the General Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. All right. Let's get your messages for Taurus. What is going on? All right, feeling that one in the life of Taurus. And I do have a new camera. I was using my phone before, uh, which had a limited amount of, you know, space and everything, but it was a wicked good, yes, I'm Rhode Island, wicked. <laughs> I'm in the Northeast. Uh, I actually live in Connecticut right now, but um, I am from Rhode Island. So you may hear that accent fly out every now and then, but uh, my camera is really, really good. What I still have it. It's a Google Pixel 3. I bought it when I started this channel, and I used it to record my uh, videos. But you know with the phone, you only have a limited, limited amount of space, you know, and then I would have to wait for the videos, everything to be uploaded to my OneDrive, to the cloud, and then upload to my laptop, and there's a lot of waiting, and it was just a pain in the butt. So now that I have this camera, I have a lot more space, and I don't have to wait <laughs> in between readings. I could just keep recording and recording if I want to, so... And it has a microphone, so hopefully everyone can hear me loud and clearly now. And maybe, um, you know, video quality would be better. Although the camera, my phone, was really good quality. So, all right. Enough of that rambling. Taurus, what are your messages and guidance for Taurus? So if I'm a little funky at holding up the uh, cards to the camera, it's because I'm getting used to uh, this camera. It's sort of a, a little different angle. The zoom is a little bit different, so... Just bear with me. Feeling that one in the bottom. Okay, let's see what love has for you, Taurus. So we have here individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So very unique. When it comes to love, you know, maybe you uh, stand out from the rest with your person. Uh, you do a lot of things, maybe, um, or this could be somebody you're dealing with that, you know, doesn't do, like, like things like other people do. Maybe, you know, this person is very chivalrous, you know, um, very old-fashioned, you know, and it's uh, sort of, like, very charming. And we have action here. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So I feel like here, um, yeah, we got unique twice here. So either you, your person, or just a combination of the two of you are together. A very, um, it's a very unique um, connection here, a pairing of some sort. 
I feel like it's very like old fashioned um, kind of energy to it in a way. Like you don't see this kind of connection these days uh, around very often. It's kind of what I'm feeling with that. And this could be someone you've been with because I see like this person has a lot of bubbly energy. So does it this person. This person, you know, one person may be more bubbly and outgoing. One, the other one is too, but maybe not as much, a little more quiet and reserved. Um, but yeah, I see, see a very unique uh, connection here in some way, shape or form, whatever that means for you. Like you, you both could be two very different people, but you mend and merge like in a good way. All right, so let's see what life has for you. So we have the Hermit. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. So the Hermit, I know we're all in Hermit mode right now, but that is about introspection, deep soul-searching work, healing, uh, thinking, contemplating, you know, spending time alone, being alone kind of energy. And nines, to me, are always like a single energy, but it's also about a completion, uh, closure, a cycle but we do have the ace of autumn here so we have a windfall of money advice or assistance from others a very uh, successful project a happy change in your career so this is a brand new opportunity a brand new beginning of some sort so while we're in this hermit mode while we're in you know lockdown quarantine you know if you're still in that energy Taurus some here may be actually having a new beginning of some kind it could be a new job a new like work from home opportunity um, you know, investing into a new career, learning something new, um, or, you know, could have had some money come to you in some way, shape, or form. Could have won the lottery. I mean, it could be anything here. But some sort of stable new beginning for the long term is here. Could have been something that maybe you needed to think about for a while here with the hermit energy. But you see that light is on. So I think if you thought about it, I don't think it took you long to see the light in the situation here. So let's see what your advice or guidance is from the angels. We have friendship. So friends, very important. And we have unity. So you could be uniting with friends here that have the same vision as you. And it could have to do with this Ace of Autumn energy. And the red border there stands for Archangel Uriel. So if um, that is an angel that you want to look into, research, work with, uh, that may be significant. But he is about um, beauty and enlightenment. And the Hermit energy definitely is about gaining enlightenment. So let's see here. So you may be actually, you know, making maybe making new friends or becoming more uh, closely bonded with the friends you do have now. Energy. All right, so let's clarify these energies for Taurus at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female, for the general collective watching this. In love, what is this individual individuality and action about for Taurus, please? Thank you so much. In love for the collective. Page of Wands. Passionate communication or good news or offer coming in. Or something like that. So let's see. What else? Queen of Pentacles. So being very stable, grounded. That's your energy, king or queen. All right. So what else here? Nine of Swords. So now we got stress, fear, worry, anxiety. So somebody, you know, could have taken action here. They see your worth, your value. The Queen of Pen King or Queen of Pentacles is sort of like the minor of the major of the emperor the empress so somebody seeing your value your worth um everything that you are and offering something to you maybe you're a little stressed and nervous about it here so let's see it's total different energy than what i got at the beginning but you know maybe that beginning message was just a message for some now something different could be coming through that does happen so keep that in mind also what else here Nine of Cups. So yeah, I definitely feel like feel like here, um, you know, the Nines can be a single energy, but this is about wishes and dreams coming true. It's about happiness and joy. It can be an overindulgent energy. Also, Seven of Cups. So now we got the Nine and the Seven. So 
choices, options, uh, or many blessings coming your way. Confusion. All right, what else here for Taurus? Queen of Swords. So that's my divine clarity. That's my um, like universal energy. So king or queen doesn't matter here. I'm not going to be going over signs. These are just messages. Kind of like a quick reading, energy check-in. Um, either you resonate or you don't, so I'm not going to really be giving any signs. But we do have ear here. Um, so, you know, this is my divine clarity, divine intervention, but the queen, king and queen of swords, somebody who uh, takes action, they can use that sword to sever ties. It's about truth, clarity, open, honest communication, standing up, not backing down. Queen of swords can be legal energy to a uh, mentor or uh, advice or guidance from a professional of some sort. Or it could be somebody who's been through a lot and they're very, um, in that energy of like been through a lot, no other lessons not afraid to do what they need to do to cut off energies no longer serving them. So a lot of different energy here. So I feel like I feel like there's somebody coming into you for some of you that so the first message may be for those who are in um commitments, marriages or whatever. I think this message is for singles. You may have somebody coming into you that sees your uniqueness. They see how um independent you are, how you're, you know, you got everything going on, you're stable, you're grounded, you're well off, you can take care of yourself, you have everything you need, you know, you look good and all that kind of stuff, and they want to make an offer to you. So this may stress you out a little bit, because maybe you're, you know, used to being single, doing what you want, uh, when you want, um, kind of energy. But this person, I think, sees you as like a wish, a dream come true. So you may be confused about this uh, offer coming in, not sure whether or not to accept it with the Seven of Cups. Confusions, options, you know, choices. So some of you may, you know, put up that sword here and block this person because you feel like you're not ready for it. You're good on your own. We have two nines here, the nine of cups and the nine of swords. So definitely two energies of single energy. Some of you, I feel like you don't, don't really want this, so you're going to take action here and either block this person or just cut them off. <laughs> cut them off uh, right at the start. Kind of energy or this could have been something in the past and now you're just single you're alone and you're kind of happy that way and you you know you don't want anything new you're not looking for anything new uh you're just happy content on your own right now you don't need anything coming in to kind of mess up your vibe or you know, have to contend with that right now it's kind of what i'm feeling so take those as they resonate for you all right, so different messages there coming through. So it could be uh, a lot of people watching this or I'm just connecting to a lot of energy. So let's see what this Hermit in the Ace of Autumn is about for Taurus. So we have Six of Wands, so success, victory, accomplishment, somebody noticing you and maybe offering because we have the offer here on the wand and then the offer for a brand new beginning. And then the Knight of Wands, so being very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. So somebody, I feel, is taking action towards you who either has been watching you or they've seen what you've done, they've seen what you've accomplished, they're impressed with what you have done, what you can do. And somebody may be taking action towards you to offer you something here, like a brand new start. Maybe things have been slow right now, or like, you know, we're all in this hermit mode, so maybe, you know... Business isn't going well. Nobody's working. Um, but somebody, I felt like, has been watching you and has seen whatever you have accomplished or have done in the past. Very impressed. And maybe, you know, they have some sort of creative idea or something new. They want to uh, approach you about this. And, you know, I feel like this person here, it could be you or it could be somebody else. But somebody's very, very accomplished. They're sitting high up on their horse, their throne. We have somebody here coming in just as a knight. So they're not a king, but they're not a page. So it's somewhere in the middle where, you know, maybe they've, you know, started a business or they went to college. They've got some experience, but they're not yet in the king energy. But they have this idea, very fiery, passionate. All right. So they may be approaching you or vice versa, knowing, okay, not really doing anything right now because of everything going on. Yeah, they want to work on this Eight of Pentacles. So working on something here. 
something to do with career work finance they may want you to invest in something with them or vice versa but somebody may block the energy here with the seven of wands like hold hold your horses there <laughs> one minute wait what so, so this person may be a little defensive but then there's going to be rejoicing so i think this person may you know give you a chance to you know, they may say, slow down a little bit here, you know, let's, you know, what's going on, you know, hold your horses, and, but we do have celebrating here, so I feel like this person's going to feel like, wow, this is a great idea, a great opportunity um, to work on something new, a new venture, or something like that, because we do see here celebrating something, so balancing out the energies here with the Two of Pentacles, so there may be something where, you know, investing may need to take place or balancing out finances. You know, how can we make this work? I invest, you invest, you know, let's even out the energies. Let's bring this into balance to make it happen. But we do have infinity here. So this could be something could be very successful for a very long time, maybe for the rest of your life. Because I do see the even flow of going back and forth uh, through time. Because we do have the Ace of Autumn and then the two. So you got the one, the two, then it goes to the eight. Um, so, so the eight and the two make the ten. And we have the Ace and the two, which makes three, which is about teamwork, collaboration. We did have three cups here, which is about celebrating, rejoicing, that kind of energy. So it, all that energy is here. So I do see, however that makes sense for you, uh, whether it's a new job, a new opportunity or something here i do see lifelong potential of a steady stream of income that could be very successful all right so interesting so let's see because we do have success victory right there but i feel like someone has already accomplished somebody on their way up here wants to collaborate i feel and i see something that has the potential to go all the way to the working on it and then merging the two energies with the two to make the ten of pentacles so we go from the ace to the ten all right so let's see here what is this friendship and unity about for you okay so we have the five of pentacles so there could have been an outing here between um maybe a very near and dear friendship maybe there's been a little bit of a outing here something happened where you know the others feeling left out in the cold um but it says unity so somebody could be thinking about how do i you know mend things with this person i want to reunite with this person you know they were my best friend they were a good friend kind of energy so somebody here needing strength courage determination taming the beast taming the ego uh self-doubt all that energy to kind of mend fences here to come back into union with very close uh, friend in some way shape or form knight of swords somebody wants to rush in here definitely this is um spirits advice guardian angel advice if you feel like there's a friend long lost friend or somebody that you've been on the outs with you've been wanting to rush in and try to clear the air um spirit saying here you know don't let fear ego get in the way all right. So, yeah, there might have been a lot of pain between the two of you, and you're not sure if this can be overcome, if we can heal this menace, become friends again. I feel like you miss this person. Yeah, here's the healing energy. Wow. So overcoming, I feel like just peace, happiness, joy, uh, overflowing and healing and just like cleansing this heart of all the pain and sorrow from the past just washing it all away it's but somebody needs to take action here somebody needs to take action all right here let's get one more it's like a be like a brand new beginning between the two of you we see the dove here you know someone needs to extend out the olive branch to bring in peace harmony balance forgiveness to heal the wounds of the heart, overcoming fear, stress, ego, and just taking that first step and moving towards somebody here that I feel was a very close bond at one time. I don't know, only you know what happens. Could have been someone a third party 
or and third party can be anything. It could be work, career, finances, a person, place, or thing. Addictions, obsessions. I mean, maybe somebody was drinking too much and it ruined a friendship. Seven of Pentacles. So somebody's been waiting, assessing, analyzing the situation. Should I invest? Should I not invest? Waiting, 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 but not taking action. But we have justice at the bottom. So I feel like... Um, you know, this is the writings of wrongs. You know, there could have been a lot of fighting, arguing between the two of you. But this is a past life soulmate. So this could have been a friend, family member, somebody that you've known since childhood or had past lives with. That is a strong, strong bond and connection. And we can have balance once again with the Six of Pentacles energy. It all starts with extending out that olive branch, that peace offering, apologies, page of cups, peace, harmony, Overcoming the past, healing, forgiving, working this out, and having balance once again. This is a past life person or soulmate. Soulmate doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a very close, close bond you have with a friend that is like a sister, a brother, anybody, a family member, a co-worker, anybody. Justice can be had. Balance, scales can be balanced. Truth and clarity it starts with extending out an olive branch apology. Get the communication going here. So we can heal and mend and have like a whole brand new beginning in unity with your best friend, your lover, your your family member, anybody here. But fear ego has to be overcome so we can move forward. Okay, Taurus, wow. <laughs> best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.